Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Says, says with the purple hair, so you said your mother didn't wear pants, right? So what made you start wearing pants if you know that is wrong? And your mother didn't set that example either. Right, so what made you start wearing pants? Okay, you don't know? Okay, so you said you love God, right? My, my brother with the dreads, I wanna, I wanna get both of y'all a scripture real quick because we can't say we love God um, and partake in the things that he's against. So we heard in the scriptures that a woman not supposed to wear what pertain to a man and a man not supposed to wear what pertain to a woman, right? God don't want us to be on, uh, quote unquote, both sides of the fence. It's either you with the most high God or you ain't with him at all. That's how God, y'all understand God, not only Christ is a black man, but the most high God is a black man as well. And God operate this way. You either go get down or you go lay down. That's, That's right. how he operate. But let's read, read. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 2, verse 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Hold on. So remember, because the officer, Officer Zeph, he asked you a question that you loved God. You believe in the Bible, brother? What's your name, by the way? June Bug. You believe in the Bible? You familiar with the Bible? You love God? Because a lot of our people... Being put here, it's like, you know, things have rubbed off on us, you know, because we're so used to doing it. Right. So it became a habit, uh, even a continuation in doing wrong. So we learned, we learned to love the wrong the wrong but it, exactly you know, you know what yeah absolutely right we've been we've been influenced by the things that are around we've been taught the wrong way and guess what that's what we out here to do to actually show our people how to love god because a lot of our people we want to serve the lord we just don't know how exactly. and slavery is the reason why we don't know how Slavery, why you so much on earth that it just that it becomes um, what it is um, naturalistic. Let's say like yeah. right. So now so it's now carnal. It's so much, yeah. You feel yeah, me? it's so, carnal. It's just natural, just naturally. So okay. Like okay. I say, the way like the way the way to get out is is accepting the truth and knowing the truth to set yourself free from what we already trapped in. What is the truth? What is the truth, Joe Bug? I mean, it resonates in us. But it's something that speaks in you that, that lets you know wrong, right from wrong, regardless of anything. So, so it's like, I feel like, I feel like, like, you know, when you do something, you can tell when it's wrong from your inside. Right. From the inside of you. It's, it's, it's instant to inside. You know you're doing something wrong if you choose to do wrong. So like I say, it rubbed off on us in a wrong way and we just, we just naturally do it. But also, you know you're still doing wrong. So, so I'm going to ask you, I'm going to ask you again in a, in a few words, in one to two words, what is the truth? All, 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 all I got for the truth is God, the living, you feel me? Okay, so we go, and, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's a that's an okay answer, but that's what we out here to do, to show our people what loving God is, how to love God, and more importantly, the truth. Because like you said, the truth will make you free, right? Let's get what the truth is according to God. Y'all ready? Read. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 42. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. All right, read it again. Slow it down. Read it again. And I'm going to ask y'all a question. I want to know, I want to make sure y'all are paying attention. All right, read. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. Thy what? Thy law is the truth. Thy what? Thy law is the truth. 
Junebug, what is the truth according to God? Thy, exactly, thy law. You understand that, sister? And I'm sorry, what's your name, ma'am? I'm sorry about that. Huh? Minnie? Okay. So, Minnie, Junebug, God's laws is the truth. This Bible, everything we read in this Bible is the truth. It already done happen before, it done happen countless times before, and it's going to happen again, or it's bound to happen. But it will come to pass. This Bible is the truth. Go back to 1 John 2 and 15, because I want to I make sure we got this in our head. We can't love God and still cleave on to what's going on in his world. You know how the scriptures say God is a jealous God? You ever been around a jealous person before? They don't want you around nobody else, right? God the same way when it comes to following him. We can't follow everything else and still try to follow God. Read. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 2, verse 15. Love not the world. Hold on. Y'all hear that? I'm going to read it again. Love not the world. God is saying love not the world. We've always taught for God so love the world, right? But what does he mean here, love not the world? What is it? What you think that means? The things of the world that's in the world. Right, the things that's of the world. He not saying don't love your people. He talking about the things that the things that we partaking in, the drugs, the alcohol, the cross dressing, the game banging, the whoremongering, the adultery, the stealing, the drugs, the, the drug dealing. Because that's a problem on Chicago and Hamlin. That's right. Not the drug usage. That's a problem in Chicago and all our communities. He said, don't love that. He don't love that. He love our people, but he don't love that. Read. Neither the things that are in the world, if any man love the world. So wait, if any man love the things that we like to be involved in, we are our people as a people, we love to smoke weed as a people. Not the people you see in purple, we don't do that. But as a people, we love to do drugs. We love to smoke cigarettes. We love to, it's nothing wrong with drinking alcohol, but what time is it? One in the afternoon, we love to be lined up in front of the liquor store uh, as soon as it open at 10 a.m. drinking. We love sleeping woman from woman, man to man. He said if anybody is involved with that, partaking and not speaking against it, because when you ain't speaking against it, obviously you accept it. Read. The love of the Father is not in him. It said the love of the Father is not in him. Right. So if you're partaking in those things, unfortunately you don't love God. And a lot of our people don't. But remember, it's because they don't know how. And y'all in a perfect place. We are trying to show y'all how to love God. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how our men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.